In this video, I'll be using PowerShell commands get apex package and remove apex package to list and remove all installed Windows Store apps in a Windows 11 computer. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And now to begin this video, I will go to my Vember workstation where I have this Windows virtual machine. And I will be executing all the PowerShell commands inside of this virtual machine. But before that, I want to show you my setup. Basically, this is a clean installation of Windows 11. And if I go to my start menu, here you can see all the default applications that comes with clean Windows 11 installation. Also, if I go to settings, then apps and installed apps, here we can see more packages that comes with fresh Windows installation. And one very important part to understand here is that here we can see all the installed applications and this is not necessarily true for the applications that we see in the start menu because some of the applications that we have in the list here are existing only in the start menu and they are not installed on the computer. For example, here we can see Outlook and Outlook is an application that is installed on the computer and also here we can see Spotify. And in this case, Spotify is an application that is not installed on the computer. If I click on Spotify, instead of launching Spotify, first it would install Spotify and only then launch it. And we can double check this by going to the software list that we have here. And let's search for Outlook first. And here we can see that the app is found. But if I search for Spotify, and nothing comes up. And that's because, like I said, Spotify only exists in the start menu. And this is very important to understand because the PowerShell commands and snippets that I will be using in this video will only be able to remove programs that are installed on the computers. They would not affect the Spotify installation link that we have here in the start menu. But if you want to remove Spotify and all other applications of this type, you would need to configure a new start menu for your users. And I have a video about that in my channel. And I would say that it's even necessary to create a new start menu for the users because later in this video I will show you some unexpected results after removing all the Windows Store applications from Windows 11 computer. And one last thing for you to know is that on this computer I have another user account named John. And after removing all the Windows Store apps I will be creating a third user. And that's because I want to show you how removing Windows Store apps affects the user that is executing the commands how it affects other users on the computer and how it affects the users that are created after the Windows Store apps are removed. And that's basically it. Now I can open PowerShell and start executing commands. So for that, I will click here, search for PowerShell. Then I will run it as administrator, click yes here. And the first command that I will be executing is get app X package. Then I will press enter and it gives us a list of applications that are installed under my user admin account. If I want to see also the applications that are installed under other user accounts, I need to add a parameter named all users. I'll press enter once again. And this gives us more or less the same list as before, but also includes applications that are installed under the other user accounts. And as you can see, the PowerShell commands are working just fine. But in this case, we're getting too much information about each package. And this makes uh, the output hard to read. For our video, we only care to see applications that are installed and also the applications that we can remove from the computer. And to fix this, I will click on up arrow on my keyboard. I will add a filter to filter out the unremovable packages because here we have a property called non-removable and some of them are true and some of them are false. So we only care about the ones that are false. So I will add this filter and this will show us only removable packages. But once again, we still see too much information about each package. So I will only select name property and also we care about package full name because we'll be using this property to remove the packages. So I will select name, package full name, and press enter. And as you can see now, it's very easy to see what Windows Store apps are installed on this Windows computer. And that's basically it for listing all the installed Windows Store apps with PowerShell. And now to remove a Windows Store app, we can use a command named remove appx package. Then we need to provide package full name that we see on the right side of the screen here. And in this case, I will be removing 
outlook so we need to provide this value right here and also because i want to remove it from all of my users i will add a parameter all users as you can see if i open start menu we can see outlook in here now i will execute the command and as you can see we no longer have outlook in here and that's basically it but removing applications like that one by one is not that fun and for that i will go back to my github page because here I have this PowerShell snippet and this PowerShell snippet allows us to create a list of applications that we want to remove and then remove them one by one with the commands that you see in here. And in this software list, you can see all the applications that I like to remove for my computers, but you can modify this list however you like. For example, here I also added a few other applications. For example, here we can see few system components that you can add to this list or here we have few applications that I don't recommend removing like Windows Notepad, Paint, Windows Calculator, Xbox Gaming Overlay and also Windows Photos. Anyways, now I will click on the button right here to copy the PowerShell snippet, go back to my virtual machine and insert the snippet in the command line. Then I will press enter and the command is now executing. If I open my start menu, we can see applications disappearing one by one. And it seems that the PowerShell snippet finished executing. And as you can see in our program list in our start menu, we have a lot less applications. Also same goes for the list that we have in here. We don't see a lot of unnecessary applications that we had before. And like I said before, you can modify the list in the GitHub page of applications that you want to remove however you like. I also included this PowerShell snippet to my GitHub page and this PowerShell snippet allows us to see what other applications are installed on the computer. For example, if I copy the snippet, go back to my virtual machine and execute the snippet. Basically, here we can see a list of applications that are still available to remove in this computer. Anyways, that's basically it for removing Windows Store applications with PowerShell. But before ending this video, I want to show you how removing Windows Store apps affected other users on this computer and also how it affects new users on this computer. So before switching to the join user, I will create another user with uh, cmd commands net user. I will name it bill and then slash add and I will press enter and this created a new user after we removed all the Windows Store apps. And before going to the Bills account, let's first check how John account looks. So I'll click on him, I will sign in. And if I go to my start menu, you can see that the start menu looks the same as my admin users. If I go to settings and then apps and installed apps, you can see that all of the applications that I was removing with the PowerShell snippet also was removed from the existing John user. And that means that so far the PowerShell commands worked as expected. But now let's check the bill account that we created after removing other Windows Store apps. So once again, I will sign in to bills account. I will quickly go through this menu right here. And as you can see, the result is a bit different because in this case, we can see a lot of applications in the start menu that we removed with the PowerShell snippet. But if I go to my settings application, then apps and installed apps, we can see that we don't see applications that we see in the start menu. For example, like before, we can see Outlook in here. But in this case, if I search for Outlook, we don't get any results. So what happened here is that the PowerShell commands that I was using they did remove all the software, but for some reason, for new users, it doesn't remove them from the start menu. It only removes the software in the start menu for the users that already exists. And all of the entries that we see here, like Microsoft 365 and Outlook, became a type of application like Spotify. It's an application where it installs when you click on it. And that's why I said that creating a new start menu for users is kind of mandatory if you're trying to remove all the Windows Store apps from the computer. And like I said before, I have a video about modifying the start menu in my channel. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.